what is going on guys welcome to a brand new video welcome back to the channel it's dev we're here always sunny in philadelphia season two episode what are we on five six episode six that's exciting ladies and gentlemen last on what was it uh hundred dollar baby and i actually don't remember what happened i gonna be completely honest it's one in the morning. I just, I gotta get through this. I'm tired, guys, so. Let's just get into the reaction. Alright, let's get into it. In three, two, one. Oh, I thought that would get me off the hook. It, it seems not. like. Wasn't can't it? we just Was pay it? a fine? You know, I would rather pay a huge fine than have to give back to the community. Holy oh, shit, look at this bill. Those mimosas were like eight bucks a pop, Charlie. Oh. Are you serious? Well, you had like seven of them. Good. Bro, I'm not paying for no your mimosas. Way. I, didn't even I don't have enough them. money. Oh, no. The gang gives back. Good for the gang. Surely nothing bad will happen, right? <laughs> you know these guys? Yeah, from Nam. You were in Vietnam? Man, hey, don't get excited, Mac, all right? He was in Vietnam 10 years ago on a business trip. Beautiful. <laughs> Please get these guys out of here. They're really weird and scary looking. Hey, I own half this bar, too. Well, you know what? You can't just come in here and start running our lives like this. It's not fair. Want to bet? What? If you don't go... Me and Mac and Charlie, we're going to sell our portion of the bar. No, we're no, not. No, that's not happening. All right, just back me up on this. I can't yeah, even do I that. I can't really back you up on that. Why can't you just back me up on, on this? Job. Hit him right. Hit him right. Screw this. I'm wow, that just blew my mind. That was incredible. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll find David's story has a, a lot of relevance to your situation. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... We have a late arrival here. <laughs> oh. I'm Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Here, uh, have a seat down front. Oh, huh? uh, no. Okay, <laughs> this is what happened. Uh, I'm not an alcoholic. Actually. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Look, uh, Charlie, the first step to recovery is simply admitting that you have a problem. I'm not an alcoholic, so it's cool. He was drinking a beer when he oh came in. Dude, oh, dude, how are you gonna... We are here as part of our community service. Always a bunch of clowns. <laughs> All right. We need volunteers for our Sunday basketball league. You're going to be coaching the teams. I got two positions left, so I'm going to have to put two of you together. Charlie. Hey. Hey. What? Well, I didn't know you were an AA. Yeah. Listen, I didn't realize you were an alcoholic, and it actually explains a lot of your past behavior. Oh, and... Check this out. I'm not an alcoholic. See, I won't, I have to be here because the court. Because I, okay. I threw this flaming. Back. I want to maybe help you. Are you saying you want to go out on a date with me? No. No. No, Charlie. No. I don't. I I never want to go out on a date with. You. <laughs> but you can't ever hit on me. No. Because that's never gonna happen. Yeah, I heard. Ever. You said that. Okay. So, sponsored, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, they wrote down my phone number. Wow. All right, kids, kids. Uh, why don't you line up on this free throw line over here? All righty. Uh, come over here. All right. Oh, okay. The rest of you kids can go with those two. Oh, you know exactly what you've done, sir. Okay, everybody back. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, this is my team. No, we're stuck. Oh, my goodness. Teams are already picked. You two have the ducks, and you have the wildcats. <laughs> ducks. Are you kidding me? Anyone tall? What are those flip flops? Jesus, kid. Did you not wear shoes? Apparently, there is some confusion as to who is the head coach here. Yeah, it could be a guy who's never participated in any kind of sporting event ever. Yeah, or it could be world. a girl. Never. That's enough said, right? Jeez! From watching us. Absolutely. Try to remember what she does wrong. That's the first thing. Great shot, Chris. Come here. You're going to be the saving grace of this team, you know that? Everybody try to be a little bit more like Chris. Do I look like I need to be on a diet? I don't know. Terrible. Take a lap. <laughs> Can I get this down? Oh. 
This is awful. This is awful. It's Charlie, are you here to try to have sex with me? I kind of can't believe you would ask me a question like that in my time of need. I'm sorry. We got a history. And You're suspicious. I get that. We got a crazy history, you and me. Oh well. You know, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just get a little comfortable and, and I, I won't, I won't talk. And Charlie. So tell me about you. What kind of music are you into? Uh, are you gonna keep saying that? Is that like your catchphrase now? Dad, can you please give me some ice? What happened to your eye? Well, Mac plays basketball with his elbows. That's what happened. Oh, you're all playing basketball? Yeah, it's a part of our community service. Yeah. Got to... And go. Very nice. Ah, uh, tight footwork. That's it. Very good. Chris, doing really good. Yes. Dad. Good moves. What the hell Dad. are you doing here? What are you handing down life lessons? Get the hell out of here. Get off my court. Your court? Yeah. You want to shoot for it? Free throws? Shoot for what? Throw me the ball. All right. Oh, oh, best out of three. Elbows, knees. Excellent, excellent work. Now, you're going to want to utilize both of those over the course of the season, okay? Because referees in this league... Fellows can lose a game for even the most dominant teams. Yeah, kids, could you excuse the assistant coach and I for a second? Jesus, Mac. Don't you ever contradict me in front of my team like that? These kids need to know who their coach is. Well, I can see how they might be confused. Are those combat boots? Don't get all coaching Dennis's team. Not coaching my team. You lost fair and square. Don't give a shit. You're not coaching my team. Oh, it is on. We play you guys first. We are gonna school your sorry ass team. Want to make it interesting? Uh, Dad, we don't want to. <laughs> Scared? You want to quit? You can back out. Cause I can coach this team better than you or Dennis or Dad or any other goddamn man any day of the week. Who? Who? That's it. Gambling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coming over here all the time then, huh? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I just don't know if that's safe. Yeah, I think it's safe. Yeah, maybe if you think it's safe, I'll consider it, but... Ooh. How's your friend Dennis? Hmm? I just, I haven't seen him around much lately. What, What's he up to? He's like working at some stupid youth center thing. He works with kids? Yeah, but, but he has to, that's why. Oh. These Jeez. are wristbands. And these are safety pins. I want everybody to insert their safety pin into their wrist. Oh my God. As long as you hurt the other kid as bad or worse than he hurts you, you will have done your job. And I'll be proud of you. Look how good he is with those kids. Yep, let's see. Ooh, very nice. Okay, everybody take five. Chris, come on over here a minute. I'm gonna talk to you. Let's see. Winning ain't everything. Lesson two, do you own a bike? Oh, what's he gonna do? Hey. Dennis, hey. Hey. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. You haven't come by the coffee shop. Uh. Anyway, I thought maybe we could spend some time together again. Um, haven't you been spending a lot of time with Charlie lately? I don't want to be your sponsor anymore. It's starting to get in the way of my personal life. <laughs> what are you talking about? I only offered to be your sponsor so I could get closer to your friend Dennis. You know what? We can't do this, actually. We can't. You gotta be. Because what if I start drinking again? That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> you guys are going down. We'll see. All right, kids, how you feeling? Good, doesn't sound good. Are you drinking the Red Bull? Come on, chug them down. Oh my god. That's the vitamin. All right. These are for you. And there's a steel toe in there. Don't be afraid to use it. Thanks, Dad. I'm not your dad. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Get it ready. Put the, put the shoes on. <laughs> I don't have to talk to you, shithead. You bought Chris a new bike to throw the game, but that's all. No. Whoa! Oh, but that's no, all. You... Why don't you have a seat on the bleachers? I'm right in the middle of something. Oh, uh, no way. I'm not sitting up there. It's way too smoky. Let's play some basketball, right? Charlie, what are you doing? Ah, uh, I volunteer. Let's play some ball. Oh, my God. Ha 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 ha!
picking up shit oh my god well that was a fun episode i always love basketball episodes those are always uh, they're always good times they're always good times i enjoyed that quite a bit uh topic this episode gambling classic that's been a big heated discussion on on twitter and twitch i mean twitch just banned gambling um, like slots and shit like that. Obviously, like sports betting still still regulated. It's normal. It's normalized in society. Which there's a part of me that's like, okay, whatever. Because I don't like gambling. I think gambling is a horrible addiction. And spreading gambling on a platform like Twitch, where there is definitely a lot of kids, is a problem. Even if you put 18 plus in the title, get it twisted. You will make big money. <laughs> no um but yeah i mean and then fucking frank <sighs> of course fixed the game took chris out of it with money technically with material possession he's like hey i'll give you this if you don't play this game so i can win a bet it's hilarious it's hilarious and you know some could say it's what happens in sports nowadays especially basketball which i could believe Football, I don't know. Maybe certain games, but basketball, there's definitely evidence of games being fixed, but I don't I don't think it's like the biggest thing. I think that's more likely than <sighs> that that's more likely than like everything being rigged. Like everything is scripted. Like when it comes to sports and football or whatever, like all the games have already had outcomes. They're acting on the field, like, what they're doing is what they're supposed to do. Like, when they give up big plays, or if they, like, anything. Like, people think that that shit's fake. I'm like, I don't know about that. The players are actually playing. Like, they, they believe in what they're doing. It's the refs that fix these certain things. And you had a, a coach in this game, or in this episode, where, you know... He fixed it, and then the ref was so incompetent that it worked out in his favor. It's hilarious. It's it's really good, and everything was was the waitress's fault. And Charlie, I wonder if Charlie's in in this show is ever gonna get the chance. I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna have the one moment where he finally gets in. He he made it. We'll see though. I know. I th I'm pretty sure he's married to her in real life. I think. Is it her, or is that Dennis's? I'm not totally for sure. I think it's Charlie's wife. Um, but that was fun. That was funny. Enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, Mac is a piece of shit, but all of them are pieces. Of shit. They're all terrible people, and that's what I love about it. It's so funny. It's so funny, and it's fucked up, but I can enjoy it. I can. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. And all the social media is down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video. Goodbye!